Hey, hey guys, uh, it's your pal Victor once again here at Cult Following Cult Classics HQ. And uh, today we're going to do some few more, do a few more collectible reviews because, you know, uh, there's still some cool stuff coming out even though we're in the middle of this whole crazy coronavirus quarantine. But thankfully Amazon and other uh, online retailers still have some cool stuff coming out. One of the cool things that came out this week is a latest series of McFarlane's DC Universe action figures. And if you didn't know, Tom McFarlane got the license to do DC action figures. And this is uh, probably the third wave unofficially. But um, we're going to look at the Arkham Asylum Batman figure today. Uh, so I saw pictures of this guy at um, Toy Fair, from Toy Fair, and I was not a big fan of those pictures. And then McFarlane posted their promo photos, and I was not a big fan of those either. But it's kind of a different story in person. This guy is kind of the definitive Arkham Asylum style Batman. Arkham Knight Batman is still my favorite, but this guy looks pretty darn awesome. So we're going to open him up and get you a good look at him. So here he is in the box. Uh, you see the Batman there? Right here we've got Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, on the top is that other side. Batman Arkham Asylum. For those looking for, you know, the UPC and all that, there you go. I was lucky enough to get him um, a week ago. I uh, pre-ordered him a couple weeks ago when Amazon was doing a price match sale with um, Best Buy. So he was only $15 and that's a really good price. So let's open him up. And I already used the Mighty Exacto to free him, free the tape edges of the box. So there's the unboxing. All right, I do have a few qualms with this guy, so I'm gonna get those right out of the way first. Um, all the weapons you see here, like uh, you've got a a glue grenade, you got the two two bat the two batarangs, and you've also got the um, grapnel gun. Um, the glue grenade and the grapnel gun don't go with this figure. And I'm not saying there's an Arkham Origins figure. I'm saying those weapons belong to the Arkham Origin figure. This character does not use them in Arkham Asylum. So it's kind of like, okay, that was a weird choice, right? Uh, it kind of just, comes across more like McFarlane or McFarlane's team really didn't research the games very much which is kind of a bummer since you know DC uh, collectibles did such an intense long series of them and uh, did a great job uh, getting all these weapons the only actual weapon here that we're seeing that hasn't already been made is the glue grenade so all right the first thing I'm going to say is this cape is awesome. The texture on this cape is ridiculously awesome. Um, he's got some crazy articulation. All right, so let me get this kind of out of the way here. Uh, I love this cowl. This cowl is crazy. Um, it's really good. Uh, he's got pupils on the cowl. And uh, let me just say that he looks like that in the game and even on the back of the box which is the card art or the game art um the articulation on this guy is a lot like a storm collectibles figure uh, so he's got a floating diaphragm and then he's got another ball joint down here and then his trunks are a glued on piece uh that's like rubber so it's kind of pretty much just like a storm collectibles figure um he's got uh no thigh cuts, but he's got a crank, a crank swivel. And what I mean by a crank swivel, it means you can hear it ratchet. So the ratcheting means it'll hold poses good. He's got double knees, even though that one's kind of stiff and I can't get it to pop right now. I'm not gonna try to pop it on camera. And 
I kind of got this one ratcheted. So he's got ratchets on the double knees. So that would be cool. His uh thing his uh thigh thigh guards don't or his uh shin guards don't swivel but he does have a lot of movement here like a swivel and a ball joint at the ankles which i'm usually not a huge fan of that joint he's got butterfly joints on his shoulders that means as they can go in and out and he's got a single pin with a ratchet on his arm I wish that was double. His shin guards do not turn, but his hand does. Um, he looks really good outside of the box. Um, I can tell you one thing that I've noticed just opening it right now is that this, uh, the face is a separate piece. It's like a face plate. Kind of would have been cool if McFarlane had done changeable face plates. I also like the weathering on the belt, but I really like the flooding articulation here. Now, because I wanted to do this, we're gonna find out on camera if it actually works. This is the, um, the uh, basically if you played Arkham Asylum, this little thing is what Batman uses to explode things. I don't remember the name of it right now, but basically it's like, it, it does a plastic bat symbol and then you hit the R button and it blows it up. So this is from the DC Collectibles uh, Batman figures. So let's see if it fits in his hands, all right? Because that would be cool. All right. And moment of truth. It does. Um, so um, I had the uh, electric charge cannon too, but I actually broke it off trying to get it off the older figure. Um, but I have all the other accessories like the grapnel gun and all that. Uh, I can tell you if the grip it fits this, it'll fit the other figures. So if you have any of the accessories from the uh, collecting the DC collectibles or DC direct Arkham Asylum figures, they will work on this guy. So that's kind of cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Also, the, uh, bat is sculpted. And, um, the only other figure that, that DC Direct did this with, I don't have a loose one anymore. I just have it in the box, is the, um, 2009, uh, DC Direct, uh, Graffiti Designs and Battle Damage Arkham Asylum Batman. It's the only other figure that has a sculpted on bat. And, uh... I wish I still had it because that would be a good one to compare it with. So I'm going to compare it with the closest thing, which is the DC Direct. This is the DC Direct Arkham City Batman. Um, and you can see the cape hangs just like on the other one, but it has way less articulation. Um, but you can see like basically McFarlane's figure like lines up right with him. Yeah, you know, they're essentially this. Oh, this guy's a little bit taller, you know. But basically, if you have, he'll fit right in with your Arkham Asylum figures. The other thing I wanted to do is uh, this is the box set Arkham Origins Batman figure. The reason I pulled this guy out specifically is because he has open hands. The regular run Arkham Origins Batman has closed fists. So we have all these weapons here that belong, that actually go with this figure. So I'm curious if they'll actually fit on the correct figure. A lot of people say this is one of the best Batman figures ever. I actually kind of agree with that. So let's see. All right, so this is the glue grenade from the game. Let's see if it fits in his open hand. And uh, it's kind of, no, nah, it falls right out. So, um, the other one's kind of like a trigger finger hand, so the glue grenade is not gonna work. So let's try the shock, the uh, grapnel gun, which looks nicer than the grapnel gun that actually came with uh, the DC Direct figure, but this hand specifically is meant to hold this gun. So let's see if it'll fit on this guy. So let me open his hand up a little bit. I think we can make it work. 
Although DC Direct tends to use kind of harder plastic. So cross your fingers. The trigger guard is a little thick. Uh, almost. Give me a second here, guys. I think we can make it work. It was just like literally, you can make it work. You're just gonna have to do a little bit of finagling. I wish I had like an X-Acto knife to spread his finger a little bit more. Let me try taking it out here. And there you go. If it's perfectly like dead on perfectly right in the thing. So if you have the DC direct or DC collectibles, uh, the DC direct or DC collectibles, uh, Arkham origins box set, Batman, you now have a perfect grapnel gun for him because the one that it came with was too loose. So, that is going to stick right with him. Um, I think if I did like a, if I warm his hand up and kind of reshape it, I can get the glue grenade to fit there. But I like the idea that um, the weapons from this, this guy will fit on the correct figure from DC Collectibles. So now that we've done that, he comes with two batarangs. I'm going to pop these out right now. One of them is folded up. It does not open up. All the batarangs from DC Collectibles or DC Direct, they open up, but that tended to break. So basically this is good if you want him to have one in hand and then one to throw. If you have the batarangs from the uh, DC Collectibles Arkham Knight, they will also work on this uh, McFarlane figure. So let's get a batarang in his hand. All right, first things first here. All right, so here it is with the battering. It fits, it does fit kind of loose, which I'm not a huge fan of, but yeah, I might have to use one of the DC Direct batterings. Um, but it will probably fit kind of tight in the other hand. Um, I might just keep the, um, the explosive gel gun, that's an explosive gel thing in this hand and I'll keep the batarang in his other hand. So let's uh, try it with the other batarang here. If we remember where I put it. <laughs> all right, kind of hard to like find where I put all this stuff. All right, here's the explosive gel thing. Here's the glue grenade. Here's this guy. Oh, there it is. Black on black, never a good idea. All right. Yeah, this one might actually go better here, but yeah, I think that's how it's meant to go. Actually, let me try this. All right, so basically this open hand is meant to hold the closed up batarang. Ooh. So let's see how this one looks holding the open batarang. And excuse me fumbling with it, guys. I'm just kind of doing this right now at night. Oh, and that's how it works. Okay, so you can make it so it actually matches up. And it does have a bicep swivel, which I did not notice at first. It's really well done. And you can shove the, uh, you can shove the uh, butterfly joint up to kind of get a little bit more motion. So you can actually perfectly copy the pose on the back of the, cartridge or the box so i don't know i really like this guy I, he's kind of cool i like the storm collectibles kind of articulation i wish the the legs had kind of a texture on them um like the side does here but i know the game doesn't have that so it's kind of frustrating like it's something they could have done and they didn't do it but i'm really happy with this guy and i'm probably gonna end up buying another one for another part of my Arkham display. Um, and just so, just so you can see. So this is uh, Arkham Origins with the uh, Arkham Asylum. 
and he can hold this gun perfectly. So basically the upside, if you get this figure, you will end up with weapons that will benefit your older figures and that's kind of awesome. So, and then you can get him, you can get this guy afterwards and uh, have a little showdown on your uh, desk at work or home office or whatnot. But yeah, here we go. McFarlane Arkham Asylum. I'm going to give this guy an A, actually. Could have been an A+. Plus. That's kind of what I tend to strive for, the figures I buy. But he's really good. I really hope they continue doing Arkham figures because if they did an Arkham City Batman, I would be really happy with that. And, and this is what I mean. Like, you know, if you look at the design on the, uh, wrist, on the wrist gauntlets, this is the design from the wrist gauntlets from the game and the shin guards. But it's kind of lame sauce. I like the design on the shin gauntlets from Arkham City better. And the and the and the shin guards wrist gauntlet shin guard design on this game is much better. I also like the belt a little bit more, but the fig this figure is just not as good as this guy. I mean it's very basic, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points of articulation not counting swivels I mean it does have swivels so really it's a 12 to 14 point articulated figure but you really can't pose him any more than he really is right here you can get like slight like tweaks but he doesn't even have a waist joint which this guy has two ball joints in his torso which is pretty awesome so you can get him sideways throwing things all kinds of stuff which I'll probably play around with afterwards but uh, if you like reviews like this, feel free to tune in. We'll ha we have some more, and I will do one for Joker coming up next. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and check out cultfollowing.co for more collectibles reviews and film reviews and all kinds of fun stuff. So I will see you guys later. Give us a follow, subscribe if you can, and thanks a lot. Excuse my Judah Freelander look. Quarantine, what can you do? But thanks again, guys. See you soon.